As you can see, I'm finally building bombards as well. It took me a little while, but we got there. It was mainly collecting the nitre is the problem. I'm actually going to settle a city down here to have another coastal city, but also because I want just basically to work the nitre immediately. So that'll be quite nice. Okay, right, this pack and shot. Forward you come. Uh, protected by my lovely healer. We've got thrust. Um, I think I might just take the capital first and then we'll we'll sort of push out from there. Maybe the loyalty pressure that they will receive will be not, I mean, it'll be huge. So they won't be able to do anything about it. And I am actually going to build a commercial hub in my capital. It would be good to have more trade routes, but I mean, doubled. Oh yeah, this will be great. Boom. Okay, next turn, the mausoleum will be finished. Ha ha. And there it is. My favorite, my favorite wonder. It basically just doubles all the great engineer charges. So we can just use all of the great engineers in the game effectively. That'd be quite nice. Are there any more really old wonders? Like, oh, we have the great lighthouse. That'd be quite nice to do. Okay, we need a little bit of gold to do that, but we could build that pretty quickly. Um, the Statue of Zeus, actually, as well. Let's just get Imhotep over there to finish the Statue of Zeus. Actually, I could probably just get rid of this encampment pretty quickly as well. I'm just thinking about the best best units to move. I've got a little bit of a choke point, actually. And I've got too many u powerful units and not enough spaces to move them. At any rate, I'm just going to settle on the Nighter. It's not the best city, but it just helps me to get that Nighter super quick. Just a little bit of gold with the Kree as well. And also a little bit of um, amenities should hopefully stop me from going bankrupt. Oh, fingers crossed. Oh no, it's, it's very close. Maybe I need to give them a little bit more. Um, what would you give me for that? 18 gold, that'll do. Some of you are in a dark age again. Okay, that's fine. That's, every time we discover a new continent, I, I haven't discovered any continents yet. I've been incredibly turtled in this game, so that'll work pretty nicely. All right, this pike and shop comes round. Everyone's just sort of inching forward really, really, really painfully slowly, but I've now got two attacks perfect on the capital. Okay, these pike and shots, as I say, are really tough. So there's no no issue at all with like actually just pushing through districts. Well, because my gold balance is negative, my siege tower has been disbanded. Oh, what a pain. Okay, Ryan, when you edit this, do not show you complaining about the siege tower being destroyed. Just delete that bit. Here we go, look at this. Triggers the Eureka moment for three random technologies from the Renaissance or Industrial Era. Okay, if we have a look at the tech tree, Renaissance, you can see building a university adjacent to a mountain. I could do only two bombards I'm hoping to do, kill a unit of the musketmen. But otherwise, all of these are pretty advanced techs. There's nothing I'm going to do immediately here. So I think just using her relatively soon is going to be a good thing for me. Right, um, I am just, however, going to switch to the statue of Zeus and we're going to just pop this down and look at that one turn. Lovely. Right, everybody just sort of keep coming round for me. Um, that's another set of attacks in here that should be pretty good. Okay, yeah, next turn. Next turn we should be able to do this one and then I'm just going to move into there. Can I not take the encampment? Yes, I can. Okay, the encampment is broken. Lovely. There's the statue of Zeus. Oh, let's say the units themselves are not that handy. What I'm really doing it for is because I should be able to upgrade all these things pretty quickly. That's uh, that's nice. Very nice. Okay, bombard. Right, I just need to get that done quickly as well. So I'm using my crossbow to attack and then we'll get this pike and shot in. That's that city taken. Good. Keeping it. Just heal my pike and shots for a turn or two. Don't forget I've got my scientist in to assist with that. In fact, actually... Yeah, we're just taking the time to heal everyone up, which is pretty lovely. Um, this city should be plenty loyal now. It is. So Victor into my new conquest. Thank you. So I'm just going to spend one turn healing these units. I don't think it takes... It's not really a problem to just leave them just a little bit, just to let myself come back. But yeah, just getting everybody into position. Attack number two on this city. It's only going to take about five pike and shot attacks at the very max to take the city on shouldn't be, shouldn't take long at all really. What I am thinking though is I'm going to ship the Philosopher's Stone. It's a cool relic, don't get me wrong, but I am broke, absolutely broke. And the Kree want to give me an absolute ton for it. So I'm just going to let them do that. Just like a ton of gold up front. No, no. Okay, they will actually just give me that. Fine. 500 gold. 
Okay, I'll go get the relic back eventually, but that basically gives me enough money to fund myself for a good 14 turns or so, which is lovely. All I need to do now is make sure I don't immediately spend it by accident. We are on a very important job, and that is don't bankrupt yourself. Please don't do that. This swordsman has been very handily fueling my bombard, so he's going to arrive on the scene with one promotion, but I don't even need the bombard because these pike and shots are doing terrifically. They, they get because I've got the great general in, they've all got more movement than they should have. So I can go one, two, three attacks into the city this turn. I'm just going to use the crossbows, take a little bit of the wall damage off, or the wall health as I, you know, just a little bit, which is good. The reason for that is because basically the level of fortification health reduces the amount of damage a city takes in terms of garrison health. So the garrison health is the actual green bar as we know it as health on a unit. As long as there's fortification health there, it kind of reduces a lot of the damage. So look, you can see now that attack is yellow health because uh, the wall is a little bit uh, weaker than it was instead of the regular green health it was before. It hopefully means I can take the city in one go. There you go, there's another one. Actually, I'm hoping now the loyalty Oh yeah, let the loyalty actually have all cities on side now. The best thing to do is we're going to take my pike and shot and we're going to go and find some other cities in order to, well, just go and pillage them, I think. And to do that, let's just get a great general to come and keep these guys occupied. Well, you know I said I was going to save money, but the Colossus, oh, the Colossus just, it just is too good a tile not, not to do. So hang on, if I just uh, quickly plonk that on this tile like so and then we'll use him in tap i think basically just to build it in one go or no not quite in one go but still almost in one go so you can see because of attack increase i've got the take advantage i've got they only did about six damage to my pike and shot which is wonderful so here is 350 gold and a huge bunch of science there you go we're going to start to push banking up now i'm going to treat myself though to one siege tower it is 400 gold but I could use one for this army and then one for this army just to split my assault a little bit. It does help. And there is Colossus. That's just a nice free trade route for me. And another 12 gold per turn. There you go. It all helps just to stop the bankruptcy from crippling my empire. It is crippling debt rather than just regular debt, this. Okay, um, that is the effective capital, but this is a lovely seaside town. Um, actually, I could just keep pillaging for a sec. I will do that. Uh, this is, okay, like you keep moving forward. There we go. And I'm starting to surround this city nicely now. Lovely. You can see as well, I can flank and attack on two different sides at once. First ship. I can't believe that. That's so far into it. But I should actually get into a golden age this time. I really, really hope I do. That would be a shame to miss out on another one of those just move my pike and shots around. Uh, this pike and shot seemingly is, is actually if I just move my great general forward a little bit, you're just taking units out. Look at that, 69, <laughs> 69, nice. But you can see military advisory resolution, that's giving me plus five. Great general, oligarchy, it's all stacking. That's a 55 unit attacking with 69 strength. That's a plus 14 bonus. Those are the sort of stacked bonuses you want to be going for. I mean, look at this, we're just clearing units right now. Right, and these pike and shots, oh yeah, look at that. Good chunk. That's a lot of things. I mean, Forbidden City, if it was closer to being finished, maybe I'd think about letting the city finish it, but nah. Okay, move on top of that hill, just move everyone around a little bit, and then we'll go one attack, followed by two attacks. Okay, that city will fall next turn. That is delightful. Over here, um, I'm just building up a little motley assortment of crossbows to fire from districts. Look at that, we're just obliterating the wall, slowly but surely. And I'm just going to switch over these units a little bit. Let's just move that guy to there and get this pike and shot to the front line. Lovely. Okay, we're doing we're doing nicely now. There we go. Industrialization because we just finished our third workshop. Nat is wonderful. Now Babylon is building itself a bombard. That will be my second bombard, which will give me siege tactics. I can then use my great, uh, sorry, my military engineer to put two forts down, which will give me ballistics. In the meantime. Uh, after Babylon has done itself a bombard, I'll be building a university. Once I've got a university, that is a university next to a mountain, which will give me astronomy. So that'll be one, two, uh, three of these techs. At that point, I will use um, Emil, 
because she gives me three three techs. So I think it's, I'm just sort of holding fire on her for a second just to sort of see if I can get it. Uh, building factories though, these are important. I need to get three factories done, or two factories done immediately so that I can build two coal power plants which will give me battleships. With Babylon, you need to rush battleships as well as flight as fast as you can because battleships don't forget are the next stage of army. Army, all of these piking shots will be for nothing if I've got a load of battleships, because if I've got battleships, then I'm gonna win. Now, look what I found up here. That is a five science tile, which means the Bermuda Triangle is here. And this is a rare game where it looks like I can actually settle right next to the Bermuda Triangle. Someone has settled here, which means if I settle on this tile, there's gonna be a bit of a loyalty penalty. But if I go here, I can go one, two, three, four of those tiles and earn myself a potential um, 30 science per turn, which is Babylon is only is half as good, but it's still pretty damn good. And that city is full. Oh, it hasn't quite fallen. I thought that would fall. Uh, this city should fall. Yep, there we go. So there's one more done. Um, move you to there. Let's go to there and then move you across and then you across. Okay, lovely. We've got we've got them surrounded utterly now. Utterly surrounded. There we go. Siege tactics are done. Okay, let's just quickly go and build myself a fort. There's the first fort. Next turn we'll build a second and we'll have that tech boosted. Four turns until I get a university as well. Lovely. Never be afraid to pillage before you take a city as well. Like this, this, this unit, I could pillage before I take the city, which means I can get an instant health recharge and then I can attack. So it's just in that order you keep these things going. It is lovely. All right, now this crossbow, all of these crossbows attack better if they attack from districts. So I'll do that as I can really. Look, I'm actually, I've actually got my, my other units have finally arrived on the scene, which is pretty funny. Let's just do all of that. We'll heal with this. Let's keep my great scientist. You know what, actually, my units are scattered enough now that I'm going to just get myself a Eureka from a random technology from a medieval or renaissance actually i say that medieval or renaissance um i want to just finish banking and square and, and astronomy first so we'll, we'll pop him in four turns time as you can see there's an enemy caravel there which is giving me a little bit of problem i need to actually make sure i can shoot this thing and get it off me before it does anything too bad to my city i think we should be able to get it off pretty quickly but you never know Right, the bombard can move and fire because it had over two movements at the beginning of the turn. Great generals make bombards ridiculously powerful like that. It's always been a glitch with the game. I don't think it's a deliberate thing for Civ, but it's still there after many, many moons. Um, one attack, two attacks, three attacks. Like so, city's falling very quickly now. At any rate, there is the fort. Nice. Ballistics. Curasars. 64 strength, those things are and field cannons. Those are powerful field cannons. We'll settle this city here now. Lovely. I've got a sprawling empire because we've taken over another sieve. That gives us three era score. It, when you basically have a lot of success with domination and you've got a lot of cities, like I've picked up the entirety almost of Scythe's land now. If you settle another city, you'll have way more cities than anybody else because you've got two empires worth. So put that down, three era score and also the plus two from settling on Australia. That's pretty nice. We like that. Oh they built two horsemen and almost killed them in the first turn. That is unfortunate for everyone. Right, now I need to just make sure I don't lose all my units here. This city will fall pretty quickly, but there's no rush. Um, I'll just use my bombard to actually kill the horsemen first. There we go. Get to lead my troops in a parade. That's a great general kill, that one. Um, and let's just quickly, do I want to get the Thaith? 200 Thaith? Not really very much point in that, so let's just take that city first. Okay, this is good. Now, uh, we're two turns off the university. We've just got banking, so let's get square rigging, although there's no real point to doing that. Actually, let's go for military science, because that's the one that's worth tacking. Uh, kill a unit with musketmen. We're not going to use that, because that will be given to us by the great scientist. The thing to remember with Babylon is you never want to neglect... Uh, getting the Eurekas with culture tree as well because otherwise you will be stuck a little bit behind in culture. Maintain four trade routes I can do pretty easily because I do actually have four trade route capacity I just haven't built the traders so that's something I should do. Instantly builds walls. That's a pretty good great engineer that one. Ah but here we go wonder construction he is the great engineer that I want. 
because that will give me flight. Um, okay, let's just quickly put this in. Cities with a factory, give us extra stuff. We like that a lot, we'll do that. Which cities need walls? We'll probably should put them on the, <laughs> the cities that are actually coastal. They, they probably need more protection. It's always worth getting Rainer in pretty quickly as well if you've got uh, money problems because she has just a bunch of stuff that really, really helps with that, including making this harbour way better. So we're just gonna actually switch Magnus around with her. And Magnus, I'll put you in my third city, which is Samarkand. This city state has turned into actually quite a nice little city for me. Let's just chop that down. That will give me another trader. Um, and actually, apparently, oh yeah, three turns away from that trader as well. Okay, let's go and chop this down. That'll help that one. In the meantime, I think any route that gives me a little bit more food in this city would be a good one. By the way, there was university. So astronomy is mine, which means I've only got one more Renaissance tech. So if I now pop my great scientist, uh, there we go, medieval or renaissance era, that gives me square rigging, which is the last one, which means I now only have an industrial era text. So, uh, have enlightenment, build two shipyards, build two neighbourhoods, build two banks, and get a unit kill with a knight. All of these are pretty tricky to do. I'm not going to get any of those anytime soon, so this is the perfect time now to use a meal. So here we go, steam power, economics, military science. There we go. That's unlocked cavalry for us. It's unlocked railroads. It's unlocked ironclads. Ironclads are really, really powerful. Now, we need to get an, uh, a coal mine down and we need to get an ironclad upgraded and then we'll get steel, which will give us artillery. That'll give us 80 strength units. Although, admittedly, I need refining first. So building two coal power plants is now a priority of mine. Scientific theory and sanitation. Have the enlightenment civic don't think I'm a million miles off. Oh, no, I am a million miles off that. Okay, never mind. I'm actually now just embarking all of my units because, well, side view, I've only got 10 turns left in this game. It's not going to take them too long to get killed. But I do quite like the idea of taking them out of the game if I can. Pike and shot, that would be a 59 attack. Um, oh, amphibious attacks are not the best, but I think, I mean, it's not the worst either, is it? Just trying to think if that's the best way to do or maybe we could we can actually peace out with her and probably get all of her money to do so yeah let me just she's just gonna give it all to me should we do that and then loyalty will take a city out which means i won't get the kill for it so there we go loyalty is going to be the thing that falls her down we'll be able to keep that pressure up and our pike and shots are just going to sail into the world and we're going to basically go see what we can kill yeah these these gold routes are, are good in the meantime this is pretty good, but okay, quadrimes. Um, I've got a lot of knight at, and I've got myself frigates now because I've got professional army that's ready to go. So let's just do the upgrading. We'll go bang, and then we'll go bang. Okay, we've got two frigates now. We can actually probably go for the Cree and take their city pretty quickly. They also have a great lighthouse, which is a really good upgrade for me to steal as well. Because I've got steam power, my units are going so quickly. 20 diplomatic favour in a tribal hut. Well, I'm losing 14 per turn. So that really is uh, the most pointless pickup for me ever, but never mind. They want to buy my diplomatic favour. That's good. We like that. But I would rather get actual gold from you. No, no, they're not going to do that. Not giving me gold up front. I guess it's because they know I'm going to go to war with them. So I guess that's fair. Okay, where is the coal in my empire? I had at least one coming in. Uh, okay, there's coal underneath the industrial zone there. I've got one source of coal on that towel. I need to send a builder up there to actually get a coal mine. And here as well. Okay. Yeah, plenty of coal. Plenty of coal. Right, let's just get this done and then get this trader to give me, I mean, four gold per turn. That's terrible. Ugh. We don't want that at all. Yeah, you know what, I'll send it to Babylon. We'll, we'll send it to the Cree. What I'm thinking about it is the more is actually the Cree are keeping me alive financially. Their capital is so close to mine. I don't need to worry about it just yet. I would rather, I think, send my units and take over this person, whoever the green is over here. I've got a nice little staging post. I don't need to rush into killing the Kree. I don't think. In the meantime, I'm just going to send every trade route I've got towards them. And I think that'll have pretty much the same effect for me. Right, where am I going to find... Oh, a natural wonder there. Normally that means there's a city-state over in this direction because they tend to hog them all. Um, we'll go and see what we can find. 
Finding new continents. That's all very exciting. There you go. Yeah, another leather gob. This is good. Medieval fairs now boosted. Fantastic. Now we've got raid. Raid is good. Professional army. I don't need at the moment. Let's get that. Let's get surf. Serfdom's good. We like serfdom. Extra gold would be handy. I think I'm going to get conscription. That'll take a little bit of my uh, issue of gold and merchant confederation as well. 38 gold per turn. Right, good. We are now afloat. This is lovely. Spreading my units far and wide now, but I can't see anybody on another continent around me. Very strange. I mean, there's a lot of spare land around here. I like I like these sort of continent maps. You've got these big, big pieces of land and then tiny little islands to go and settle on. Enlightenment is where I need to be shooting towards the Earn a great artist. Have an alliance with another civilization. It's possible. Scythia hate me. Yeah, sometimes you can bully them into a friendship, but I don't think this is going to be the game to do that. Another great merchant. Lovely. Increases my trade route capacity by one. Trade routes to city-states give me faith. Okay, little little bonuses there, but stuff that could be useful. Another city-state. Oh, ma. Okay, Arabia have met them. Is that who this is over here? Maybe Arabia. It could be. It could be. Anyway, it's how many uh, envoys? Not many. Not many with Arabia. Okay, cool. Lovely. Uh, oh, Poland. Okay, lovely to meet you, Poland. 47 strength uh, cities. Military strength of 234. That's not bad. We can take that on. Right, all of my... <laughs> you can see all of my units are now just going to sort of... Like, like wasps. Drawn to the scent of somebody that's like squashed another wasp. All of my siege units are just going to go and, and, and sail towards Poland now. Woohoo! Factory complete. Right. Let's get the power plant going. You can see the factory is only giving production to this city. Not this city. Oh, this one's too far away. Rubbish. Brazil. Okay, it was Brazil. So we know Arabia is still in the game. 59 strength. Okay. That's a bit tougher than I was hoping, but we nothing we can't deal with. Right, let's just move my frigates closer. Um, you can see, yeah, we do some decent wall damage to the cities here. So that is fine. We're going to just meet them immediately. Just double check there's nothing I can trade. Oh, look at all those cities. All right, they've got a lot of cities. 262 military strength. That's nothing. All right. The Kree are not going to go into a joint war with me. So we're just going to declare a surprise war. Uh, and and just go from there. All right, move you to there. Move you to there. One attack, two attacks. All right, we're going to lure their units out and uh, just attack them as we can, really. Oh, but finding that city has now put loyalty pressure on this city. So uh, my little island paradise is no longer the paradise it once was. Ugh. Okay, Poland have noticed us approaching, so we're going to attack them as well. Right. Uh, okay, these frigates, I mean, these frigates are severely underpowered at the moment because they don't have any promotions, but between the two of them, we should be able to take down the city walls. Um, this bombard will la land, which is pretty awesome. I'm just thinking about whether or not I apply 470 gold in order to get myself um, the upgrade here. I'm just thinking about what's the quickest way to be able to change my policies. Kill a unit with a quadroom. I mean, killing a unit with a frigate should get that for me because I swear that is above, but you know. Never mind. Let's, um, I'm just going to move my units in, but they are really weak and unupgraded. So I'm just going to keep them a little bit further behind. Right now, the Poland front is the front I'm going to actually seriously attack a little bit more. You can see they don't have city walls up, which they will regret as a course of action because my guys are... Well, they can bash down walls pretty quickly. Just moving on my pike and shots and units in like so. Okay, and then let's get a crossbowman here. Okay, there's Warsaw. They do have knights. That's interesting. Okay, so we just need to make sure we don't attack too ambitiously. But I think my pike and shot will take care of those knights pretty easily. Yeah, look at that. 89 strength. Oof. Oh, bad timing. Anyway, anti-cavalry. We're going to go for that. And I'm going to go for less grievances for me. I don't think either of those will go through because we've got zero votes here. Heavy cavalry get plus five. Okay, so this is swung massively against me because they do have a lot of knights. Oh, look, Poland actually do have um, pike and shot. That's interesting. Okay, then. Well, there we go. One frigate attacks. The second one attacks and also this bombard. That is the wall almost gone, but not quite. Again, Poland have only got 226 military strength. So these pike and shot... Oh, yeah, they're, they're dismantling. That is 
Great, this bombard can strike over the top. We can go one, two, and then take this city like so. Okay, pluck. We're gonna keep it repelling in three turns. Okay, I get the feeling that we are not going to be able to keep this city. I'm just gonna put you into there. Okay, that's five turns. Five turns is better. We can deal with five turns. That feels more manageable. I don't, oh, why did that go there? Come on, great general. That's clearly not where I wanted you to go. Ugh, never mind. But look, you can see we've got one, two, three coal power plants being built. That is awesome. As soon as they get built, we're gonna get refining. I just need an ironclad. Once I get this coal mine going, you can see I've now got this builder who was ready to jump in here and steal this land. So we've got a lot of stuff going. Always get builders. I can't emphasize this enough. You should be getting builders in like every city you can in all of your conquered cities just to repair all this. Look at all this broken land and unupgraded land I could be putting stuff down on. These cities could be so much better than they are. So I'm going to give that one the upgrade. We're going to give this one the upgrade. This bombard can just kill the unit. Okay, the city walls are now dead. Wonderful. I'm just going to actually land the spearman and the archer just because I think it would be entertaining. Let's get the siege tower up and running as well. So Belen, uh, yeah, look, I can actually attack the city with the spearman. This is, this is good. And Arabia. Now, Arabia have got 78 science, which is pretty good, but nothing that's going to threaten me. Uh, you can see just in terms of science, I'm on 42 techs as opposed to 33 from Brazil, 30, 28. So I'm 14 techs ahead of Arabia just because of a good assortment of great scientists and holding on to different bits and pieces. James Young is one I could really use, actually. Taking out Brazil and their um, scientific capacity is going to be a very good and noble um, aim, I should say. You can see Warsaw has ancient walls. Ancient walls are not going to stop us. That, were, that should be fine. So I'll move the pike and shot forward. Um, yeah, that attack is going to be absolutely fine. I just need to make sure that I'm bringing all my units forward to surround the city before we get too excited. Try again. We'll go one attack, two attacks, and then we'll get this bombard to shoot. Yeah, look at that. Nice. All right, let's just steal Buenos Aires. That should give me a lot of visibility around the map. Okay, look, you can see where all the Cree cities are. Good. Now, Buenos Aires gives me luxury resources from bonus resources. I do have quite a few bonus resources around. I'll let that settle down, but hopefully that'll help to solve the immunity problem I've got in some of my cities. Oh, look, you can see Saivia are now out of the game as well. So they actually got lost from the game, and I don't actually have... There's no grievances with me anymore. Grievances against me from other people. So I guess actually, I say that other people, you know, these guys are going to have grievances against me. But Saivia no longer are influencing the world stage for me. So that is wonderful. Right, um, this frigate needs to take care of this knight, which of course is more powerful because of the World Congress. Oh yeah, look at this. I've met everybody. I have a funny feeling there are no more civilizations out there. That's because the game told me. I mean, I did, I did pick the settings of the map, so I'm kind of sure I knew that anyway, but you know, never mind. I like, I like the atmosphere of it. Right, naval tradition. Right, quickly, let's go. I mean, raid is useful. Conscription is really useful, but I could use professional army quickly. Okay, lovely stuff. Let's just move this guy around. Okay, Warsaw is now officially surrounded, which is nice. I'm just going to move you to that. Good. Lovely. Here we go. Everyone is in place. Great. The bombard is still firing nicely. Look at that. Just disintegrating these ancient walls. I've got two turns until Plock betrays me like the scum it is but i should be able to take another city before that point that is good okay look all of these cities are now getting builders in place come on let's get this sorted and we'll get this set so that i can now get a mine yes okay that's a coal mine going i just need now a caravel in the meantime though that city needs a hit i need to be able to use this frigate now to attack here Okay, the city's now on zero health. Attack ineffective, though. All right, I need to actually work on upgrading myself a decent melee troop. I've got 800 gold. I should be able to do it pretty easily. But it would have been good to use my spearmen. I'll have to move you to here for now and see if I can just pillage my way to health. In the meantime, as well, field cannon. <sighs> what a good upgrade that is. Got electricity. First people to do so. Awesome. 
Okay, I should be able to now, with this city surrounded, take it. If I'm lucky, yes, look at that, brilliant. Okay, now Plock, how's the loyalty of this city doing? If I have a look, oh, 10, lovely. Warsaw is now the one with the issue. So I'm just going to move you forward, Magnus. Building an industrial era wonder is a really important thing for me to do. So um, we just need to go and have a look at all the wonders I've got the upgrade to and uh, see which one I can do. Like the Roof Valley, for instance, would be a fantastic one. As with the Panama Canal, uh, Big Ben. Okay, that's the sort of level we need to do. Big Ben, Roof Valley, Panama Canal. I, Panama Canal I can actually build. Where would that be doing it to? I would actually build it to the coast. I could use my capital to build ships. That is tempting and I'm going to do it. Look at that. Oh, that is a beautiful, a beautiful canal. I love it. Especially because I can now use my faith to purchase in a great engineer to speed that up. Don't forget with things like great generals, when you have a few more movement points than you need, just scout with them and come back. Look, so now I know this city here, this Polish city has no walls. So I can just steam towards it. There we go, refining, done. It means we've now got oil. How lucky have we got? Oh yes, there's at least one oil in my capital. Well, there we go. You see, look, people, people told me, oh Ryan, the start, this start looks awful. But look, when my capital is near three sources of oil, is it really that bad a start? I'm gonna argue no. All right, now can I take the city with a spearman? Please say yes. Okay, that's great. Rebellion in three turns, oof. But this city is now loyal. It is a terrible city, but it is loyal, technically. So Victor, across you get. I'm gonna keep that city for four turns. It's not much, it's not much, but it's enough. There's another coastal city here. It does not have walls. Brilliant. We like a good city without walls. Um, let's just move this bombard forward to here. Okay, this city doesn't have walls either. Brilliant. My best ally in the whole of the game, Poundmaker, is driving a hard bargain. I'm just taking as much gold as I can because I'm just thinking about building some sort of really powerful unit on the front line here. It would be quite handy. Oh, Plock, you are just being deeply annoying. Let's move you to here just to stop it from rebelling. Yeah, I'm just saving my gold because I, I just really fancy building like an artillery or a battleship or like a cavalry on the front line. Extract an artifact to the combustion. That would be pretty cool to do. Placeable parts would be awesome as well. I'm just having a look here and seeing what else I can do. Advanced flight is going to be the biggest one for me. And building two aerodromes gives me helicopters, which is a brilliant thing to do later in the game. No, 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 no. Well, we're going to see who jumps in on this emergency. The crew probably will. Oh, no, it failed. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so I voted against it and Arabia did. Only Poland voted for it. Okay, that was an opportunity for the world to gang up on me and they, they did not take it. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Right, well, we'll just continue to send routes to the crew then. Nice. Okay, Panama Canal being boosted nicely. Bombard, fire. Nice. In fact, actually, I can get my field cannon in to come fire as well. Okay, yeah, this is doing a lot of damage now. Lovely. Oh, they're actually building a wonder. I could, I could wait around and steal that. I'm just thinking about whether it is worth taking the faith and using the faith to purchase somebody. But I think actually momentum is key here. Instantly creates a bombard. Oh, that is a nice, great general. I don't need him particularly. But I do like that sort of game. Right, this field cannon, I should have mentioned as well, is the one that's giving me um, double attacks because this is level four. It's a nice unit, that. Let's just take this city. Lovely amount of population just to keep me happy. Oh, there's a catapult on the way. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, how will I ever survive? All right, actually, let's get Raina sent forward. You no longer need to be there. Remember, you can always have a look at the loyalty screen to see where the enemy cities are. I can see one, two, three Polish cities left. One, two, three. You can actually get a rough sense of how big the cities are as well, based on how many bars. Like this city is tiny compared to this one. So we want to take the right hand city, ideally, in order to get the biggest influence on, on loyalty and, and retaining influence in this area. There we go, second charge, Panama Canal, only two turns away. Just gonna actually sneak the Apananda in here because I reckon I can get myself a bunch of envoys for doing this one first and then the Panama Canal. Plus, here we go, plastics has been done. I can now get Spec Ops. Woohoo! All right, so Porto, 
just going to attack with this bombard and then my great general is sort of coming in and then next turn I can actually just use him to produce another bombard right next to the opponents. Uh, Pike and shot here, lovely. I'm going to actually weirdly lose this city and this city probably in the same turn so we're not going to keep hold of these cities very, very long but it's okay. We've absolutely ransacked um, Brazil in the time that we've been here. Oh, the original capital of Poland. I feel like there's a bit of a story here. Why Why is it not their current? Hmm. There you go. Okay, scientific theory pillaged. Um, right. I'm about to get a wonder with flight, so we don't actually want to rush that one. Build two neighborhoods. That's least likely to be done, probably. And attacking Krakow, which does have medieval walls, but medieval walls will not be enough to keep out this army. I'm too strong. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, and Matthew Wilkinson for all of your support on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes the video, comments, joins Discord, and generally makes this community really good fun. Thank you very much, guys. You keep me going.